This is the video and universal collective energy for the zodiac month of Cancer, 2019, June 21st through July 21st. The energy that we are working with, how we can best utilize it and make it the best life and path moving forward. My name is Edward, your psychic medium, animal communicator, soul messenger host, assisting us all, including myself, to live, love, and manifest a life that a soul intended for us to live this lifetime. Let's get busy. Now, we do have an, I always say interesting, but we do have an interesting month ahead. Everything discussed in this video will be an influence through July 21st, 2019. Now, what is going to make it interesting is we have the same month energy, the first part anyway, as we do for our zodiac year. So if you want to look at the video for the zodiac year, go to my website, ebitregasta.community, go to your zodiac sign link, and it is titled Zodiac Year 2019, April 5th, 2019 through March 23rd, 2020, Ordinary Human. So that video, plus the theme healing song, Ordinary Human, great song, is there to view. So check that out first if you haven't already. So we will continue with the current month energy, which is the same, like I said, partial to the year energy. And this is an in-between energy, very, hmm, I would say we're working with a very intro, introverted energy here, but when we get to the day energy, we're encouraged to take the the information that we have gained since the beginning of the Zodiac year, which was April 5th, 2019, and implement it. Interesting. So it is an energy of, an influence of the planet Neptune, which is looking at things sometimes dreamy, sometimes fantasy, but it's a uh, differently. Not negatively, but differently. And then it's also a built-in influence, I feel, of the energy of Pisces. So that gives it a dreamy quality. Deep, steeped deep with compassion, sensitivity. Because I feel Pisces are the most sensitive of the zodiac. And wherever we have Pisces in our chart, is it really a very sensitive area in the lives that are connected to it. This is a very, like I said, introspective energy. Much enlightenment can be gained, probably has already. I Personally, my life has it's been like light years since April 5th, 2019. I don't know about yours. My life has been, excuse me, so I hit the table. Uh, much change, looking at things from a different perspective, which is what this energy is. Perhaps drawing a line in the sand, meaning taking back our power from, a, from the past, situation, circumstance, or person, very much in play. Looking at things from a different perspective, with a spiritual perspective, if you do, you have an edge, but even if you just look at things differently, you're still ahead of the game. Turning things upside down just to get a different view. What I find helps is rearranging things in my living space to match the energy, which can be done for the season, can be done for the month. But there is enlightenment compassion. Now for the year energy, we're working with the influence of the planet Mercury in Zodiac Cancer. For the month energy here, we're working with the energy of astrological influence, I should say, the moon in Libra. So all Libra moon signs are activated, empowered, and are triggered, if you have Libra moon in your chart, 
this month, June 21st through July 21st, 2019. The year energy has to do with happy union, gathering with those who we feel comfortable with, resonate with, our tribe. It's really our tribe. Connecting, reconnecting with our tribe, which may have to do with past lives, may or may not, or perhaps just earlier in this life, this time around. Now, the month energy we're working with is can be a stalemate, like agreeing to disagree, and in that way we would have compromise. This could be from within ourselves as well, or with others. And it also could go to worry. That's the not-so-positive application of the energy. Worry. Concrete worry. Real worry. It has like a, a built-in influence of a new moon, which gives us a fresh start outlook. We have to be careful of being guarded. And I think that's more within meaning are we are we jaded are we just guarded are we just tired are we overwhelmed if so we're to work on clearing that energy so we can be free especially when we get to the to the day energy and so to a certain degree when we get to the week energy as well i would say much is possible this month with the proper perspective. Libra is an air sign, which is a mental sign, meaning of the element of air, the conscious mind. And this is using the mind properly. So if there's something that has been troubling us or confusing us, Perhaps taking it apart and putting it back together, looking at things from a different perspective. Outside the box, as the saying goes, thinking outside the box. There's also an energy of burying the hatchet, not in someone's back or neck, but coming to a healthy compromise. Again, that could be within ourselves as well. Reaching new heights, yes, whether that be spiritual or otherwise. It is a slower-moving energy, and we are being guided to go with the flow. But if we take the time, personally, I meditate, take the time to accept Surrender to things that we can't change and then adjust everything else, we end up better for the wear. All right, let's move on. Now let's move on to the week energy. The current week would technically be June 17th through the 24th, with the 24th being a day energy with the two week energies blend. But, like I said, everything discussed in this video is an influence for the Zodiac month. So here we have the energy of communication. Look who's talking. Also being an adventurer. And that's even more so when we get to the day energy. This is believing that we are magical beings, which as far as I'm concerned means that we are spiritual beings within a physical body. Being co-creators with the universe. Having the belief system. And now stepping into it and utilizing it, attracting, creating, manifesting. It is, the astrological influence is the element of fire. The element of fire is a spark of life the spark of divinity within us all, namaste. It is also the element of fire, youth. Youth meaning about 25 years old or younger, give or take a few days, I mean a few days, a few years. Could be a child, could be a grandchild, a niece, a nephew, 
as well. So the fire signs are Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is communication. Communication is always key, but this is having inner communication because of the, the month energy really is an introspective energy. So this is the inner dialogue as well. Paying attention to the inner dialogue. Do we talk ourselves out of things? Hmm. That will be actually a topic for discussion, if you will, either with ourselves or with others. Because what I forgot to mention with the month energy, current month energy, we have to be careful of doubting ourselves, self-doubt. So that's, that's inner communication. We can talk ourselves out of things for even starting because of unfavorable experience in our past. So going beyond our personal limitations and boundaries is something to work on for this Zodiac month. Of course, it can go beyond that, but this month. This is getting fired up, if you will, getting passionate about something, perhaps group activities, finding our tribe, which is part of the year energy, is included. We don't have to be Dora the Explorer, but we, we should be an adventurer. We should enjoy the journey. Look at our life as an adventure and enjoy the journey. All right. Now we're going to look at the day energy. So the day energy obviously is for June 21st, but like I said, carries a tone. Everything in this video is carrying the tone for the Zodiac month. The sun enters the astrological sign of Zodiac Cancer at 11.54 a.m. Eastern, and then adjust the time to where you are on the globe. Color of the day is purple. Happy birthday to all Cancer sun signs, Cancerians. It is also known as the summer solstice, the longest day of the year here in the States, United States. It's also known as Midsummer and, if I'm pronouncing it correctly, Litha, L-I-T-H-A, which I might not be pronouncing that correctly, but that's what's going on. So this is definitely heralding in a new season. Even if you're on the other side of the globe, it's still a new season. It just won't be summer. It would be winter. So it's a major shift either way. Summer and winter, both major shifts. Now, this is the energy, and I should say that this concludes... Interesting. This concludes the soul's journey that we've been undergoing for the past three weeks. This concludes it. So this doesn't, I wouldn't say this counts as the soul's journey for the summer, but it is bridging spring with summer that we can look back at what happened during spring, or let's just say since April 5th, 2019, take that knowledge and utilize it for the Zodiac month, and then, of course, onward. Upwards and onwards, and keep moving forward. So this is a wonderful energy. This is, this is a new cycle. This is beginning anew. As far as I'm concerned, it has the astrological influence of the planet Uranus. Uranus which is, in essence, expect the unexpected. It is an energy of being childlike, which is very different from being childish, of course. Childlike. Those who grow older but don't seem to, energy-wise, is because they are still childlike. Their inner child, they stay in touch with their inner child. Foot loose and fancy free. This is, talk about taking an adventure. This is taking an adventure. 
This is reminding us that we have everything that we need within. And then we can work on attracting, creating, manifesting what we desire. But this is pure intent, which is why it is childlike. So the innocence through the eyes and the innocence of children. Not being naive, being open, being optimistic. And there is cause for celebration with this energy. But again, are we willing to take a leap of faith? It's pretty much going to be called upon us. You know, differently for different people, of course, but taking a leap of faith is going to be something that Now, if you already have taken a leap of faith, like I have, in the last season, so let's say since April 5th, 2019, then this is an extension of it, plusing it the next level of it. Or, it's not that we can have another leap of faith. But odds are, if we did take a leap of faith, since April 5th, we're going to see the rewards of it. Maybe we're now we're just going to really enjoy it as opposed to sorting everything out. Personally, since April 5th, a lot of changes, all for the good, all for the positive. And I was trying to juggle a couple things, few things at the same time. And now, this month, and then moving forward, I get to enjoy it. So use that as an example for yourself as well. That's the potential. But like I said, we're not, we're not limited. We should not think like a human, should not limit ourselves, so we could have another leap of faith. But leap of faith, yes. In fact, I'm going to call it that that would be the unofficial theme healing song for the Zodiac Month, Leap of Faith by Kenny Loggins. All right, that seems to fit. Absolutely. All right, so there you have it. So thank you, everyone, for joining us. Please check out my website, evidentregasta.community. You can subscribe to the videos subscription service. Go to link Medium Tarot TV, weekly Zodiac video series, and daily energy forecast videos. This is going to serve as one of them. Because of my schedule, I had to do this, as opposed to having a separate video. You can also subscribe to my e-newsletter list. I'm sure I'm going to get back to it. Been busy which I wanted to go out twice a month, new moons and full moons, but now it's looking, unless I really catch up or adjust, it might have to go out just once a month. Ideally, that would be new moon, but we'll see what happens with my schedule. You can also have a psychic reading session with myself and my guides, which is part of why I've been busier. Thank you. And I think that's just about it. So I hope you have a wonderful month. And we hope to see you real soon in another video. Take care.